guys and welcome to Math Made Easy with Bonolo Mutlong. In this lesson, I'm going to be very short and you are going to enjoy what I'm about to teach you. I'll be teaching you how to graph functions using Desmos graphing calculator. So basically you just go to your Google, you go to Google and then you put Desmos graphing calculator. So there it is and it comes, you choose this one, Desmos graphing calculator. You don't have to download the app and if you don't want, you don't have to sign up. You can just use it like that. Okay. Then you will... You will be taken straight to this Cartesian plane. And in the Cartesian plane, you can graph any function. Linear, quadratic, exponential, cubic. You can name them all. Hyperbola. You can graph all your functions. So I'm going to look at a few parent functions and how we can graph them. So let me graph a straight line. Um, y equal to x. So there we go. Okay, let me do the reflection. Y equal to minus X. So there we get the graph. Wow, right? So let me move it a few units. Say this is Y equal to X plus 2, for instance. Okay, so I moved the graph two units up. Okay, so you can play around with it. If you want to see your intercept here, you can see here is your intercept and here is your intercept. And if you draw two lines and you want to see where they meet, this is where you can get um, the answer, you see? So, right, this is your linear. So let's try taking it into, okay, I'll close these ones. And then now I'm going to try doing quadratic. Y equal to x squared so here's your quadratic graph it just graphs it for you and you can find your turning point see you can look at your coordinates if you want to see this point here move it around to find exactly at two okay so you can just play around with the point and then you find your points that you're looking for right so there, there it is let me move it up uh, one unit so I'll say y equal to x squared um, okay plus 7 oh 7 is too far but I can zoom it in zoom it out to see my graph you see and take it back there we go let me say i want to take it units down then i'll say y equal to x squared oh not i don't like using caps so x squared minus four for instance so here my mother graph went four units down Let's say I want to move it left or right. I want to move the graph left. Then I will say y is equal to, okay, uh, brackets x minus 4, okay, uh, then square outside, square. So I moved it 4 units to the right. So this is the original graph. I will remove the other graph so that you can see. So from the original, it moved to the right. If you change the sign here, you make it plus, it will move to the left. So that's, I did the linear and then I did the quadratic. Uh, if you want to do uh, exponential graph, let's look at exponential. So you'll say y equal to 2 to the exponent x so here is your exponential graph and if you want to move it up and down you say y 
equal to 2, sorry, 2, so the exponent x, um, let's move it down, minus 3. So you can see that your function came down. So you see, you don't need your teacher to confirm if your graph is correct or not. So you can just graph it using table. And then if you're not sure about your answer, then you can just um, check. Let's move it up to units plus two. There we go. It went two units up, right? I will remove these and I'll move it left and right. Now, if I want to move it left, I will say y equal to two, two to so the exponent. Uh, then I put um, x, x minus four. So you can see I brought it to the right. Then if I want to make it left, can just change my sign to plus then it comes to the left so that's how you can play around with decimals right so let's look at another function let's look at the hyperbola if you want to do hyperbola you will say y is equal to uh, okay equation 3 divided by x plus okay let me just do the original so here it is okay this is your hyperbola if i want to move it um left or right you will say y is equal to three divided by x minus five then your graph will move okay you can see that it has moved that means your asymptote has changed also Let's say I want to move it up or down. Then I will say y, y equal 3 divided by x. Then just uh, plus uh, 3. Okay, so I moved it 3. It went up like this. So you can play around with any function that you can think of. If you want to see it here. And there's a lot of other operations that you can look at with Desmos calculator. So you can come here and look at functions. So here you have your trig functions. Uh, if you're doing stats, you can come play around with it. Okay. Histograms, yeah, bot plots. So you can just come and play around with Desmos. We have logs. We have a lot of different operations that you can use with Desmos and you can just sign create an account if you want to so that you can explore more options okay so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope now you have a great teacher at home that can help you make your graph enjoy and bye